secondary. And Seabrick's Meta Knight. The Meta way White. that Seabrick played... Yeah, Meta Knight. No, no, no. Meta White. Meta White? Yeah. Okay. Because he plays the white one? Oh, we went over it earlier. These fun seem to stop. <laughs> um, okay. Where do you take him? Where, where do we strike? How is the striking going to go? I can tell you where Seabrick does not want to go. Seabrick does flat. <laughs> actually the opposite. He doesn't want to go to any of the tri-platform stages. But the reason why, if he puts the uh, the Koopa bot on one of the platforms above Seabrick, Seabrick is trapped. He has completely limited options. Sure, sure. So okay. it's, it becomes a really scary situation. Um, Smashville, I think, is the optimal choice for uh, for Seabrick in this matchup. The long stage is good. I can understand why people would say that. But the thing is, it also makes it so um, the Mecha the Mecha Koopa doesn't show up as often. Yeah, because sure. it has to go the whole length of the stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you put it on the Smashville platform, however, then it also becomes scary. That was really good. Yeah, and it, uh, I think it was Eos telling me when, when it connects, it auto cancels. It's down there. Uh, yes. Pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool stuff. But the young Ludwig getting juggled. Not quite. He might SD here. Yep. Wow. Okay. And profit. I'm changing my tag. Um, but 75% is not hard to, to bring back. I mean, you know? I, I love the way that Arnold Funk plays his uh, Bowser Jr. I think this is uh, this character is better than a lot of people give him credit for. Yeah, um, oh, definitely. Um, like especially he is, played at this level. I honestly think he's around B tier, around where Rob is. Like, he's a super solid character. I know that sounds weird. He's a super solid character that has a lot of good options and is overall very scary. Mm -hmm. uh, he gets a like he gets a hit, it leads into a kill. I mean, he's powerful, he's heavy, so it's hard to kill him, and he's small, which is definitely also beneficial. Uh, and then saw that? Yeah, he went for the side B in the in the blast zone. Kills he didn't you. know if you do an option within the blast zone, that will actually more likely kill you. Yeah, sometimes it depends. Yeah. Uh, like, for example, um, uh, Donkey Kong up B will definitely save you. Okay, yeah. Yeah, like something just cancel your momentum. Um, and the other things straight kill you. We we've ta we actually talked about it like three or four times on stream. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, just I, I can't emphasize this enough. If you have a main, do your research. See what will kill you. See what will save you. It'll yeah. Help you out in the long run. Um, it's not an even match. It's just almost an even match. Okay, Ooh. this is an even match. <laughs> this is this is really scary because the thing is they're both playing really patiently right now. Uh -huh. Never mind, I give up. Um, they call him uh, Corgian, the commentator cursor man. Actually, though, uh, for those of you who know me, I am renowned for commentator's curse. I always do it, and it's I don't I don't understand it. Like a lot of times, the commentator's curse doesn't even make sense. It's like, yeah, everything's going real well. Somehow he'll just like jump and die off the top. Yep. Like nothing. There's like, no that can't even or happen. But no. Like, honestly, he'll just, like, poof from the middle of the stage and lose his stock. And I'll be like, like okay. Like, the lava from Great Cave Offensive just becomes the stage, and the floor <laughs> is lava, and then it's poof, done. Yep, you know? pretty much. Um, yeah, you, if you can't hear it in his voice, he's actually on the verge of tears right now. I'm I am. Like, I really am. Okay, I once commentated Curse, my girlfriend, and she had bad luck for a week because of it. Like, the same thing that I commentator cursed her on that's never happened before happened to her four more times that same week. It was ridiculous. Wow. Okay, so taking it to final D. Um, I think this is definitely in Ludwig's favor. I can see that. I mean, I understand the, the Makupa synergy, yeah. um, but as a character, he definitely wants these nice, flat, long places to play around. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely helpful for the Koopa car and various other tools that he has. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's able to create a better wall, which is why these flat stages are also good for him. It's hard to say what would be a bad stage for Bowser Jr. Um... Ooh, wow, very I nice I think stuff. FD is a really bad stage for Bowser. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But, um, it does have a lower um, it does have a lower ceiling than a stage like Battlefield. Okay, sure. So. I always love that. Uh, he, he got someone earlier uh, where he hit, hit him with that and they got him with the hammer. It was beautiful. But um, didn't do that this time. That's, a, that's such a it's cute edge guard. such a good trap. Like, I love it. We've been seeing a lot of great setups by uh, uh, Admiral Ludwig. Um, 
hope this becomes his main. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I think he's better with Morton. I think he just decided Ludwig for this um, for this matchup. I yeah. mean, I can oh, definitely yeah, see. Wow. And it didn't pay off. You know what? I think that this yeah, is definitely I mean, in Meta Knight's favor against Ludwig. I think, I think um, that matchup was music to Sabrix ears. Oh. That, that was a Ludwig pun. I, I got it.